Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Mount Fuji. We have an absolutely beautiful view from the from the port here in near Fuji City, and looking back, the industrial skyline. I guess you can call it a skyline. All of the factories, which is, I guess, it has its own charm, in a way. It helps when you have Mount Fuji right there, right? But we've come here to eat. I hope that the signal lasts. Uh, it's it's a little bit sketchy. This is a live stream. Um, Dean is already in there. I think we've ordered a couple of things, but this is the fish market. I put a link in the description if, you're, if you'd like to come and check this out. They serve lunch until 1.30 p.m. So we're kind of on the fringe of that, but it's a beautiful place. Come here, eat. We parked our bicycles right here. Do you see? We rode here. Um, it took about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes from the, from the yokan that we're staying at, the traditional Japanese inn. And uh, let's go inside and get some lunch. You can kind of feel Mount Fuji just because all over the place they have Mount Fuji. Not just here. They have Mount Fuji right there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, so I've been spending about two, three days here in Mount Fuji to film an episode on, on Japanese tea. And it's kind of nice to share with you that experience. G-Town, welcome, new traveler. Let's go inside here. All right, Dean is filming something for his show. Um, um, where's the bowl, Dean? Come on, guys, I get it. I, I get it. Yeah, yeah, go. So we're gonna go and order the um, specialty here. It's called shirasu, which are white little fish that are raw. And I don't know, some people might be squeamish to eat it, but I gotta tell you something. It's really, really good with a little bit of soy sauce on it. Um, so we've ordered one, which is the thumbnail that we took here. So I'm gonna need that, thing. Yeah. This Ooh. is shirasu, right? Shirasu, yeah. Right. Raw egg on the top, a bit of negi, some chopped spring onion, and ginger. Ah, that looks so delicious. Yeah. You can see the eyes. Some people might be creeped out by it, but I have to tell you, if you can put your feelings aside, you will find some deliciousness in there. This and a delicacy. Yeah, Japanese love shirasu, right? Yeah. yeah. In the description, in the comments below, let me know. Would you eat this? How do you feel about shirasu like this? Sometimes it's cooked and it's white, right? But this is raw. Could are you okay with eating this, Dean? Um, we're gonna find out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's my soup. Pretty standard. Good soup. All right. So this can this can be mine here. Let, yeah, let's go and order some more. Good. Yeah. It's nice being able to eat in the market, yeah? Absolutely. Oh, I like they got free tea here. That's nice. Right here at the fish market, we can eat. Again, this is like super fresh, caught this morning. Um, on the vending machine, you can see all of the options that we have here. Thankfully, with pictures, huh? Yeah, this we got nice. this one here. Uh, and we know how the vending machine goes. There's also one with salmon. Yeah. And one with just extra fish. And you can get an egg on the side for 50 Four. yen. Which is uh, pretty affordable. What do you, what would you like? Winner, winner. Do you want, do, I think this would be interesting because you've got salmon, should I say? Oh, yeah. But... We can try it. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. So first you pick the rice size, normal. Oh, okay, when I got to put the money in there. Takaike, no? Dajo. <laughs> I don't know if I can afford it. Irvin Irvan, uh, this is on, thanks to him and everybody else from before. So, normal size and... And then pick receipt. Receipt. And change. No, we didn't put the receipt. Maybe she only, only she can give receipts. All money must be accounted for, for the crown. Hoshikata kedo kare button hayaku oshite. 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 Hoshikata kedo kare button hayaku oshite.
Yeah. Yeah. You pushed it too quick. <laughs> Dean was a little bit fast, I think. Oh, so this one is boiled. This one is boiled, yeah. So, nama. Yeah, so this is, this shirasu, this shirasu is uh, boiled, so it's white. The other one is raw, so they're totally different. And there's a little bit of negi and ginger on there with the salmon. And it comes with the miso soup. And now we're taking it to a really nice table. Look at this, right here on the water's edge. I think this is where you'd want to eat your, want to eat your lunch, huh? It's really nice. So we have two here. I don't know. I think maybe I'd prefer the boiled one. <laughs> so we have the two here. This one is shirasu raw with a raw egg. Basically, this is all raw dog. This is all all raw, and this is all this is half cooked. The, the shirasu has been boiled. It's interesting though. You can see what they look like raw, kind of slimy, and then you can see what they look like. They've been boiled. They turn a little white. Mm. Right, so it's a different, gonna be a different taste. Uh, do you want? I'll give you the salmon one if you don't like the raw dog. Um, I think, I think you're the raw guy here. Right? Ah, arigatou gozaimasu. Gozaimasu. Nice. Okay. That miso soup looks good. Yeah. <sighs> you know, you hungry? Look at this view. I know this is the it's best cool. view. It's cool, right? They just set up chairs and tables, looking out of the. What is this? Like the the warehouse building. Yeah. You know, I I do like I like the fact that. I don't know. Well, Mount Fuji is on the other side. Mount it would have been pretty neat side. to That's do it, but I don't think the tourists come here. I think this is very local. Wouldn't you think? Hey, Jeff Ang, nice view. So would you use uh, soy sauce? I would with this. Yeah, right? Um, I, think, I think this as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to add some in here. Tony P is pretty excited about this raw egg mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right, this is the part that you've all been waiting for. And, and actually, Fuji has some of the best eggs there's a lot of Japan's egg industry here in, in the Kanto region for Tokyo come from Mount Fuji. Because they have beautiful water and delicious eggs. Oh, damn. Let it, let it flow. Let it flow. Raw egg on raw fish. Wow, that looks Yo, good. Yo, yeah. A little bit of soy sauce was in there. Mm. Um, let's go ahead and chow down. We're going to give this a try. Solid orange color, right? It's all right, yeah. All right, go ahead. Let us know what you think, Dean. Okay. This is salmon with boiled so, shirasu. All right, before I uh, put any soy sauce on that, I'm just going to go in and boil boiled shirasu on it. Bam. <laughs> you can feel it through the camera. Can we, can we see that? Can we see any eyes? You see a few eyes in there, right? The eyes have it. <laughs> Good. It's good, yeah. Ah, I love shirasu. I actually haven't eaten shirasu for a long time. Let's go ultra wide now. Mm. Boom. So now you can see us both and uh, a little bit more of the market behind us. I don't know. Um, I think some of you might be a little squeamish to, to eat this here. Uh, if you are squeamish, you might want to look away. <laughs> <laughs> if you aren't. No, this is not a fisheye lens. That would be pretty ironic if it were. It's just a little bit wider. Nice, nice joke. Yeah, this is mm. different when it's raw, right? Mm. Oh. It's pretty good. Yeah? Do you think you could you could stomach that without the egg and the soy sauce, or is it those extra flavors that's like making it? 
Um, I don't know. I think the fact that it's raw, it's just something that I'm used to living in Japan, eating raw egg as well as raw fish. Um, it's natural that way. I guess you get some of the vitamins in it, but personally, I would never eat the raw shirasu unless I was here in Fuji because it's famous here. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's coming right from the sea. Same, same, same. Freaking delicious. Mmm. I have some raw. Mmm. Oh. Thanks. You're welcome, buddy. In total, I think I'm eating. Eat out of here. Just eat straight out of here. You want to? You want to try a boiled and a salmon, right? Oh no, I've, salmon okay, tastes like salmon, I'm, but boiled shirasu. Okay, I'll try salmon some of this and mix them up. When they're cooked, they're a little bit meatier, but they also get smaller in size. Mm. Yeah, right. Right. But it ends up tasting more like fish. Yeah? Just tastes more like squid or ika, it's kind of slimy. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But... I gotta say, I, I prefer them boiled. Mmm. A little bit of soy sauce is, does it does it a lot of good. Uh, adds a saltiness that would be missing without mm. it. Mm. The ginger also is quite nice. Mmm. Mm. Where did Yuya go? I was gonna get him something. I think we're being filled by paparazzi now. He's somewhere. You call him the working man. Mm. Mm. All in all, though, I've, I've had a really good experience here in, in Fuji. and um, We did eat, eat some interesting foods, but I think we didn't eat enough, did we? We didn't have the chicken. We didn't. Chicken is very famous in in the Fuji area. Again, like the, the eggs are really good, and the and the chicken farms up there on the hill. We did drink a lot of tea, though. Maybe more seafood. Yeah. Being being this close to the ocean, there must be more fish that's good. That's interesting, though, because like Japan in general has the best of all the worlds. We have some of the best beef and chicken and pork in the world. I always think like Miyazaki chicken and. Iwate chicken and, and even here in Mount Fuji, amazing the pork down in uh, Kagoshima as well as mm. up there in Tohoku is so good. And then you have the beef, the wagyu, which is world famous. And on top of that, we have fish, right? So really, like, you can come to Japan. You're basically rubbing it into everybody else. That we have the best of everything. Gomenasai, it's true. Japan is pretty much stacked. Like, if you ever were to eat, and this is why, like, um, like friends like Mike Chen and uh, Mark Weens also comes here quite a bit and uh, Trevor from uh, Food Ranger, a lot of the food eaters, they will come to Japan because it is just so stocked with food, different things. And you know, a lot of people would probably look at this and say, look at, look at all those eyes looking back at me. <laughs> Dean, literally this is um, a thousand eyeballs that I'm eating. Yeah, I see them. I can even right? see the yellow in his eye, the black with the yellow iris. Really? Yeah. It, this one's completely looking at you, mate. How you doing? It's when it starts moving, right? Mmm. Mmm. See, the boiled shirasu is very easy to eat. It is very easy. This one just slides right down. <laughs> it's a good mixture of tastes. Um, this market is really, really famous for the shirasu. So if you're interested in, in having like a, a fresh bowl of, of fish here in Fuji, this is the place to come. And again, it's like so local. Yeah. It's super local. Just look look behind us. It's I guess you would say like it's authentic. Yeah, by this time they are winding down as well, right? So people see right. just before eat early and... just before eleven um one thirty they stop operations and we we snuck in here just in time. I'm pretty sure this lady behind us was um, bait, like washing herself off. She was in a wetsuit, so she'd been in the sea picking up something or doing something, and now she's doing her lunch. So. Interesting enough, fishermen. They they go to work like in the middle of the night, and they get back at at dawn, and for dinner, which is most people's breakfast, they want to eat anything but fish, so they end up eating gyudon, which is why the Skiji Fish Market was the location for the first Yoshinoya. It's pretty cool. 1930s Yoshinoya. Um, I think it was like the end of the decade. Yoshinoya started in uh, Skiji Market. 
anything a place but known fish. anything <laughs> but fish. It's the last thing. Although they, they do eat fish, they prefer to have like ramen or or steak, beef. <laughs> mm. Yeah. So I just kind of want to introduce. I wanted to introduce this place to you um, as an alternative to just eating in the city. From Shinfuji Station, the port area, the docks here is pretty close. By bicycle, again, it was like ten minutes. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you can get here, have a have a bite to eat, and I love the fact from the water you get an amazing view of Mount Fuji. But with all of those factories, it's just a different point of view. Um, I've been coming uh, through Fuji City every time I ride the Shinkansen. It's kind of neat to stop and and look around a little bit. Yeah. Fuji area has a uh, Fujinomiya as well. Fuji City and Fujinomiya mm -hmm. is all served by Shin Fuji Station on the Shinkansen. So I think I'll be back. I'm just surprised, Dean. The one thing that surprised me about this whole t time is that there's no snow on Mount Fuji in it's, late it's November. It's late, isn't it? Yeah. You know, I actually think they had snow already mm. because it's been so hot this year. It keeps melt melting. So uh, yeah, it's it's going to be dropping again soon, isn't it? And I think you can still see snow if you go to the other side of the mountain, right? So, oh, right, yeah. yeah. The, the dark, you go to the, the back Yamanashi side. on the north side, you can still see snow, yeah. Mm. So good. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Yeah, Itadakimasu. More, more like Gochisosama. Gochisosama dishta, which is, uh, I had a real feast. Glenn T writes in here, looks like perfect, perfect for that weather. Enjoy watching you travel through Japan. Really makes me want to visit. Mm. Uh, definitely check out Runaway Japan, which is Dean's channel. Dean's channel is different than mine in the sense that it's more, it, can I say adventure? Like, I think that's sporty it. adventure? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Adventure. Adventure based, yeah. So we try to see things in Japan, but we, we like to, if I can, add, add a bit of, because hmm. I, I feel like I am an adventure or I'm a wannabe adventurer. <laughs> so at least I, I try to inject that into the content, you know? We both do an NHK show called Journeys in Japan. I don't know if you've seen that so show where we travel with NHK World. We'll travel around uh, the country. Um, he's done a lot more of them because I'm doing this show. Uh, but I, I think... Oh, thank you. <laughs> the, the, the link comes up. You I, guys are good. I, I do... Th I, yeah, thanks for sharing Dean's link. Um, I do think, like, like, outside of Tokyo, not enough YouTubers are, are showing that kind of content in the countryside. And that's sort of been my mission through 2020 and, and probably next year as well. When tr travelers come back to Japan, I want to show you things that aren't j are not just tourist attractions mm -hmm. in Tokyo and Osaka, Universal Studios Japan, Walt Disney World, like, like Sky Tree. That's great, but I think the soul of Japan is never really in its amusements, the things that you actually search for. Mm -hmm. um, it's out there in the countryside talking to the grandmothers Absolutely. here that make these bowls and feeling that spirit, that genkiness of the old ladies um, telling you stories and trying to explain things. I think that that's kind of the, the real Japan and the stuff that maybe you watch this channel for and you see a lot of that in Dean's as well because Dean, the old ladies love Dean. No, I, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. I'm the, a sucker for Obachan, right? Like, honestly, like today we were at, at Obuchi Sasaba after the live stream, we started making conversation with a little uh, pop-up tea stand that started there and all of a sudden, he was the most popular guy around. Please come drink our tea. Uh, Big, gun, tall, gun handsome gun English chat guy. Them up straight away. Yeah. yeah, because they've got so many stories to tell, right? You know, and um, I feel like they've got past that point of being shy as well. Mm. They're so open to just chatting to you. They lived in a, a different era, and they, they generally know more about the local area. They know a bit of history and culture that they can teach you. And, mm. Mm -hmm. That might be the angle for your channel. <laughs> introducing, <laughs> introducing like the soul of Japan. Yeah, yeah. Well, that yeah, that was basically the premise, right? Doing exactly what you were talking about, focusing on right now, getting out of the city, uh, throwing yourself into an adventure, and then hopefully just you know finding places and people along the way that mm. other travelers would never get the chance to meet, and places that they'd never get the chance to see, and seeing what doors that opens up. You know, I, I like the idea that you you're hiking in the middle of nowhere and you meet a dude and he says, you know, 70 year old man hiking. And then he says, well, this is, this is exactly what happened actually. A 75 year old man, you meet him. Then he say, I'm going hiking in Kyoto. Why don't you come with me? I, I, I live for that. That's, that's the content I'm going to be uploading next. Yeah, that's exactly, I think what a lot of people are looking for and you can find it right here. Um, like we've been filming kind of a collaboration with this episode and uh, um, yeah, you know, 
he, does he, he has episodes where he's also challenging himself in physical ways that I probably can't because he's on another level, including one where you and Duncan are half naked, are all <laughs> naked, pretty all, much naked. All naked, we're just yeah. uh, hiding, using don't, very small things. Don't go to his channel looking for naked shots, although that they do appear in a sensitive way, right? In responsible. They're responsible, yeah, they're, they're well well hidden. I mean, it's nonsense, right? Now all naked. of a sudden people are going to start yeah, subscribing. That, <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Don't subscribe for that reason. That's right. PG, definitely. It's it's more um, it's more it's funny. Like PG it's thirteen. Funny, funny naked. Yeah, funny naked. Not funny, haha, but funny what? Onsen, onsen, right? It's not funny, just onsen, onsen. Funny guy. Yeah, I mean, I'd love to do a whole series about like wild onsen in Japan. You've just done a, a great wild onsen piece, right? So yeah, we uh, Greg uh, and I went to the onsen. Yeah, mm. yeah, I like. Um, I do like my uh, outside onsens, the ones that you find on the beach or up in the mountains, in the forest. When you're traveling around, do you go by train or by car? Mm. Well, for the first series I made, I went by bike, by legs, and by um, kayak. So, as much as I can, I love it where I can interact. It's the slower you go, the more you interact with your surroundings, right? So, True. I love hiking, running, cycling around Japan. These days I've, I, I drive, I tend to drive a bit. Mm. I know you're doing more of the like Shinkansen and trains and public right. transport. Yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm getting lazy, huh? As I'm, as I'm, <laughs> the, more, the more I'm no, I don't know. doing my content. I think driving around is, is, is maybe the best way around, but bicycling, again, we've been bicy bicycling a lot in here. I think that that's also uh, a really good way to go. Uh, Felipe Garcia writes in here, you should go eat uh, go to eat vending machine. If we have a choice between fresh food, Felipe, and vending machine, we're probably going to take the fresh food. But vending machines are a lot of fun, and, and I think I've already introduced a ton of them. Yeah. Can you imagine shirasu from a vending machine. That would be pretty weird. You know? uh, do they have a shirasu vending machine? MB, thank you. It's nice to see you here. Lady Vampy is a new new traveler. Eugene Holbert, I, Susan Knight, and Glenn T. I wonder if you went to go see me bungee jump. That's why. The travelers can see me scream. Uh, I, I think I might have shown a little bit of Dean bungee jumping. I'm not sure, but I uh, check out my buddy's channel because um, he works pretty hard at it, and uh, I think he deserves a lot more subscribers than he's getting. And uh, um, I'm gonna go take you now if you're just joining us to the other side. Mount Fuji has made an appearance. I, I got this. You just yeah. In Masked Japan, on. we always clean up by ourselves, don't we? Put our own plates back, right? That's, oh yeah, that's okay. The Japanese way. Yeah, let's sh let's show them how it's done. Oh yeah. Okay. Masks on. Masks. Protect the locals from from us. And we return the trays ourselves, which is nice. Ah, kochi, kochi. Ah, this way. She, she told us to walk this way. <laughs> so, uh, eat, eat it stuff. Oh. Actually, what I'm doing is quite rude, you know. So I will have to apologize now. Because there was some rice left in my bowl. Hey, Deanna Atkinson's here. I live in Portland, Oregon. Go to see Fujiyama's sister, Mount Hood. Yeah, they're kind of related. I love this place, how just low, low key it is, right? It's not, it's not, so you can buy some stuff here. They do have like little gifts that you can buy as well. That's nice. And some shirasu, you can take, take some shirasu home too from the market. Oh, that's a plastic one. That's half boiled and half raw in there. It's nice. And then for one last view of Fuji for today, because we got to get. It looks good as well. Yeah, we got to hop on our bicycles over there straight ahead. And we have a nice view of Mount Fuji. Beautiful, beautiful day. I hope the signal's, signal's nice and strong. A beautiful 720p live stream because that's what you get with mobile live streaming. The factory's a little bit. The factory. Well, you know what? I, well, I think that this pretty much summarizes Fuji City. I think there's a charm to it. It's real, isn't it? That's it's real, right? That's a great way to great way to put it. 
You know, we always fake our photo shots, right? So that these things don't exist, but this is the industry that keeps the city alive, right? So it's, it's right. a part of it. I think it's like, what is that, a cement factory or? Could be, yeah. Could be. But Fuji finally showed itself a little bit. Yeah. The clouds parted. It's too bad we didn't have it at, at uh, Obuchi uh, Sasaba, which is the live stream just before here. I took you to Japan's most beautiful cherry, uh, uh, sorry, most beautiful green tea uh, viewpoint. Uh, Obuchi Sasaba, uh, which the Fuji City kind of uses to highlight their tea industry. It's so beautiful there. I could, I probably could have hung out the entire day just sitting on that wooden platform drinking tea, right? Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that that you enjoyed this and make make a trip down here. Do you remember the name of the market? I forget the the actual name. Do you have it on the Google? Very quickly, yeah. It's the Tagonora. Tagonora. Oh Tagonora yeah, right there. Fisheries Cooperative Cafeteria. Yeah, I put a link in the description if you want to check it out or just see on your own Google uh, Google Maps or, or put a little heart mark next to it. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Have a good night wherever you are in the world. I don't th know if I'm going to do another live stream from here, but I'll be back definitely tomorrow. And we have uh, a bunch of stuff to show you, not just in Tokyo, but I'm, be good I'm going to be making trips. Are you doing some traveling? Well, he just got back from Kyoto. I did. I'm going to be going to um, up to Keisanuma, which is in Miyagi Prefecture, back up there to film a little bit about the tsunami because we were both up there after the uh, earthquake, right? Volunteering. Yeah, right. It's coming up to the 10 year yeah. anniversary, right? Um, what was, what's Jamie's place? Um, uh, mud. Ah, it's, it's not just mud. It's not just mud. Yeah, digging people's There's houses out of mud. Yeah. Volunteering to help people. Is he still doing that? Do they still... uh, yeah, yeah, the, the group still exists, yeah. Yeah, there's still a lot of volunteer groups that are helping up in Tohoku, and I might highlight a little bit of that, but I'm going up to Keisanuma to film uh, in a week or so, and then down to Kochi Prefecture to film something on on a, a, a Top Secret episode, as well as uh, something with the Shinkansen and something else. I can't tell him. There's lots of projects going on here. In case these guys haven't realized it. What's that? In case these guys haven't realized this yet, this guy works so hard. <laughs> Like, I don't work that hard, actually. This guy works so hard, you know. Like, stop I'm, it! You're making me blush. I can only make it, like a video every two months. You're, you're popping backlight, like backlight, every day. silhouette. I'm blushing. You can't see the color. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> don't. No, it's a guy, You you get around. Like I thought That's I nice. traveled a lot until I met you. So. Thanks, Dean. Travel king. All right, make your way to Fuji City. Enjoy. Have a good day. Have a good night. See you later on this week. Maybe today. Who knows? Live streamings, part of the fun.